Hello friends, we are on another road trip today and in this road trip we will be going to Freeport in Trinidad. Trinidad is an island in the Caribbean. It's actually the last island in the southern Caribbean. After Trinidad to the south of the Guyanas and to our west is Venezuela. If you're not from Trinidad you may not know about it as much as you would have heard about Jamaica or Barbados or some of the other more touristic islands. Trinidad and Tobago, its main GDP is oil and gas, so tourism is not a main factor. Anyway, so this is Freeport. We are on the Arena Road. It's a residential area mainly there is some commercial parts mostly I I believe on Mission Road which I have done another video for if you haven't seen it make sure to look for it it's just me driving on Mission Road today we, we won't really be going on Mission Road I, I believe on the way back I pass through Mission Road a bit but mainly we are going on back roads today all the roads that you may not normally take when you're coming to Freeport now if you used to live in Freeport have friends here or visited here often and you haven't been here for a while or you moved abroad then this video will be of interest to you because you'd like to see what it's like now However, I will be stopping at various places too that I did not see before. Now, I, I, sometimes I will look on Google Maps and say, you know, where can we go today? And you will see certain highlighted mar landmarks, but, you know, there isn't much information about it. So, uh, you know, it's only when you get there, you find out about it. And so we and, and part of this road trip in visiting places that are off road or roads that are not frequented or roads that are not the main road itself, we discover a few places, stop and have a look around. I believe the Freeport area has around a population of around 12,000, somewhere about, more or less. And um, you'll see me stop here a bit because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue to cross that bridge or turn on that road. And there was suddenly a lot of traffic behind me. So I'm going to wait for that to clear and then I'm going to turn around and go back to that road. Because I really don't want to follow the arena road. That will take me east and away from Freeport. The green marking on that map is showing you the roads that we are taking today in Freeport. It's a cloudy day but the day maintains um, some sunlight. There isn't any rain and it clears up a bit. Thankfully, we are still in the dry season in Trinidad and Tobago. There are two main seasons. It's not like North America or Europe where you have, you know, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Here we only have the dry and wet season, or some people say the dry and rainy season. And right now we're in the dry season, which means there isn't as much rain. Now, you know, when you're lo looking at many um, tourist-based videos, they try to highlight all the goody-goody stuff, the, the eye candy stuff, but on JB's Man Cave, I try to give you the raw, real look. The things as they are. So this look that you're seeing now is true Caribbean. 
It's not the fancy areas or the fancy buildings or whatever. This is how the Caribbean or how Trinidad looks. Lots of green, patchy roads, houses built in various designs and structures and maybe could use an upgrade. But this is how it looks, actually looks. And these are some of the back roads that we are taking. So if you're looking for an adventure, you can always follow the roads that I take and see some of the places that we're going to see today. We're going to be stopping at a temple, a Hindu temple, a restaurant, the Namaste restaurant, um, a forested area that we tried to get some information about but could not find anybody and some other unusual things um, I always advise in my videos that if you come in these back roads that you should have a good vehicle that can take some hard knocks you'll notice that the camera shakes and that camera is super mounted to my windscreen I mean I actually use um, liquid metal to stick it not even just plain glue but the vibrations because of so many potholes and uneven roads still makes it shake. So that's to tell you. Now cars do pass here, but they move very slow. Extremely slow. You'll even see that in this video. Look at how slow that car is going. Look how much ground I'm making up. So if you come in these back roads, I strongly suggest that you use a 4x4, a truck, a van, an SUV with good tires. Uh, you know, don't come here with a low rider or something like that because you're going to have problems. Of course, that's not always possible that you can change your vehicle, but um, I'm just warning you. Now there was a lot of um, research done by archaeologists on the Arena Road in Freeport and probably other places here showing a strong presence of Amerindian society and uh, you know UE and the um, faculty there have been pushing government to name certain sites within the area so that they could be um, under the historical sites uh, conservation effort, but um, I, I don't, I'm not too sh I'm not too sure what the progress of that is. If if you are aware of it, feel free to comment in the comments area of my YouTube channel. A lot of that needs to be done also in other areas of Trinidad and Tobago. Now the nice thing about driving on back roads is of course all the green and as you know if you have watched some of my videos you always hear me talk about the green I just love nature but it's the fresh air and the look of the vegetation and whatnot. And you can see how bad the roads are. I would like to go faster, but that car ahead is slowing me down. As I said before, if you have a, you know, a regular car like that one um, ahead, then you're going to find yourself moving very slow here because the roads are very bad. Sometimes in shots like this too, I try to hold back and allow the vehicle to go 
ahead faster to get out of the way otherwise the, the vehicle ahead becomes the focus but I'm going really slow and that car is still going slow and of course folks if you like my videos feel free to become a patron feel free to donate you can go to jbsmancave.com or jboard.com there are links in the description of this video and in the about section of my channel to go straight to the donation section where you can donate of course as I always say there is no pressure this is you know an optional thing if you would like to support my effort in fact um, I believe this would be the last video I do in this format I'm up I'm upgrading my format no it's, don't get worried I'm not it's not the last video I actually do it's the last video in this format meaning um, 10 ATP HD I'm gonna go up a notch in certain areas and I also have some videos in 5.3 K and 360 degrees coming up that's right and by the way JB's man cave is not only about road trips or just looking it's about a lot of other stuff I do feature other Caribbean islands and I talk about social issues and so forth and I have some social issues that I do want to bring up I just haven't gotten the chance to do it as yet but I want to hear from you on those issues as well and in those videos you know tell me what you think about my videos about Martinique or Jamaica or Barbados or St. Lucia or Grenada or the St. Vincent and the Gren Grenadines you know let me know how you like those areas I know Trini's flock to my Trini related videos and yes I have quite a number of them but I don't only focus on Trinidad and Tobago I even make videos on Ukraine and the war there and you see how slow we're going I'm give, trying to give that vehicle ahead you know a chance to go drive away I'm sure I'll go over this hill and I might still see him. So I like to look at the green and in some of my videos I have actually a series called Let's Watch and I think some people just don't understand it. You know sometimes you go to an area and it's not a hyper thing. You know you're not running around in circles. You go to an area, you sit down and relax and watch that's the beauty of nature and sometimes when I slow down like this or I stop no no look at the garbage on the left there isn't it sad that I'm talking about loving nature and green and then there's a, a huge garbage dump I just wish trainees will stop doing that sometimes I go into areas and there's literally garbage all over there are some shots I would actually like to make and I can't because there's just so much garbage that's a serious problem here in Trinidad and look at how isolated this area is and, I, and it's still a concern and you know as I was saying I have a let's watch series where I just simply watch a certain place and I bring you along and when you you know it's like a, an, a piece of artwork you know when somebody makes a painting you could spend a, a good number of minutes watching it picking up details but well, it's the same with this just because it's in video format doesn't mean you constantly have to be moving that's where it's a you know perspective appreciation sort of thing now on the top of this hill there's a lot of nice scenery or well, at least for me country scenery which many in Trinidad may not see you know it's very hard to come to an area and just look and just see green without seeing a lot of concrete so we're gonna pull to the side here in a bit and I'm gonna pull out my extension pole and give you a 360 degree look soon I will have videos where you could actually scroll your screen and look
So you got a, a good vantage point. So you this is central Trinidad more or less. Um, you could see the mountains to the north. And in central south, it tends to be very hilly. There's very little flat land. Everything is hills. And the land here, well, I'm not too sure about this area in particular, but I know the, you know, the southern range tends to have a lot of areas with shifting land. So that's what the area looked like. That country atmosphere, the smell of fresh air, the green. Some people um, have commented that my videos are a good way to see where they're going. And yes, you can use them just like that. You know, if you're thinking about a road trip, or to go somewhere just to look around, take out the family. Feel free to watch my videos and pick up some ideas. You may even want to take a road that I didn't. Now, sad to say, you know, I sh let me mention those, that smoke that's coming on the left, that's a bushfire. Sometimes they are started by, I would like to say, dry stock and the sun, but to me, there's either light you know as in metal objects shining the sun on something and burning it or people throwing their cigarettes or maybe somebody actually um, starting it but anyway those are bushfires they tend to break out in patches so you might have a bushfire here and another one further up the road and so forth but if they are not taken care of then it could lead to a much bigger fire and damage to people's homes so they have to be monitored anyway i was saying that besides nature you know going out on a hike going on a camp uh, even to the beach and there aren't you know we're on a caribbean island but there aren't many accessible and i say readily accessible beaches in trinidad you have to drive very far to get it and sometimes it's packed when you get there but anyway, there aren't many activities besides, you know, going to the movies or going to the mall or some of the usual things where you see so often that you want to see something new. So driving on road trips is one way to get out and see the, the rest of the country that you may not have seen and pick up on the culture, the look, the feeling of other places. It's good education and good for your mind too. You know, if somebody said, you know, I'm from Freeport. You really can't relate if you haven't been there. But now you can. Some nice houses here and there. But nothing with the road, of course. Still the same. Now you see to the left there, that black dome-shaped object, that is where the temple is and the area surrounding it is a big restaurant and um, how do I put it it's a facility for meetings I guess but when I say meetings I'm not talking about like a conference uh, more for like weddings and stuff but it's incomplete however we are going to visit it no I didn't I, I picked up on the place on a map but I did not know about the place before. So when I got there, I decided to walk around. So I'm just deliberating which way to go. And then of course I will turn left and check it out. Now, <clears throat> one of the issues, and I've, I've talked about this before, sometimes when you are recording, video recording, a big truck passing by all right so sometimes when you're video recording um, people become antsy they become nervous I don't know sometimes they don't want to record don't you to record them or record their place or whatever but in the case of this place 
they were very welcoming and that's what I like and because they were so welcoming I will be highlighting all of their place the temple everything and that's how it should be you know something I don't understand with some trainees is you come in to highlight their place that's free advertisement for them you know I am not being paid to do this and yet still they would be you know like oh I don't know whatever whatever and I just don't get it and that's mostly from the people in the north people in the south are way more friendly and accommodating and willing and understand the benefits of you know having the this the places or the um, businesses or whatever promoted you know you know somebody taking any time and say you know I would like to record this put this on my YouTube channel and they're glad for it now that part in the right there that where that gate was open that's how you would access the um, restaurant directly but you can access it from the other way that I'm going to but mainly this section here is well, people who are going to the um, religious side of this area and this temple so I'm gonna park up here and then I'm gonna pull up my extension rod as usual and have a look around And I'm going to give you um, audio here. Now, where, whereas I am familiar with the rudimentary aspects of the of Hinduism and so forth, I am not okra with all the terminology and whatnot so feel free to go to my youtube channel and explain everything that we're seeing what i can tell you is this is a sacred site a religious site so that if you're coming here the idea is not to be loud and noisy in fact when we came here we were very impressed with how quiet and peaceful it is and you will notice in the fact that I can record and you don't hear nothing. There aren't many people around. There were some. But it's a nice place to come and meditate. Taking the fresh air. If you're part of the religion. Pray. Whatever have you. Whatever to develop or grow that strong sense of yourself so if you have never been here it might be an option for you to come and I'm gonna label the um, the name and location here so that you can check it out one of the impressive impressive things too is how clean and maintained well maintained the area is Now this part here that we're going to is the restaurant and the grounds where I said that you know if you're planning an activity or uh, a place for a meeting or a wedding or whatever they have the the necessary area for it. Um, it's still under some sort of renovation or construction it's not complete but it's good enough that if you needed to do something you could start. What I like about it, it has its own little playground as you see. 
and various covered areas where you can uh, dine or have a meeting whatever have you however you want to plan it they have several structures so I don't know if you could have you know rent the whole facility or in some other case you know different people can have different um, air covered areas that they could use by the way in my future videos too I'm gonna be working on this stabilization issue where you get that shake again these videos are raw so normally you know me, me having me walk here I would you know in a proper video you would cut it out edit it merge and so forth but JB's man cave is about the raw so you can see all that I see and I may be just holding the um, extension rod anyhow as I'm walking and you see how it's stabilized now because I'm probably you know fixing it to take a shot now they had some peacocks in a cage here while the cage is very big this is probably the only area I did not like and if you know JB's man cave you would know the reason why I did not like it that's the noise that they make I've never heard them make that song before but it's almost like they were calling me when I was there And usually they spread their uh, wings make all that colorful thing I think they do it when they feel intimidated I don't know I'm not an expert on birds but um, you can tell me if you know the reason why I did not like it feel free to say why if you know JB in the YouTube comments of this video if you would like to know why you can also ask now this um, mini what do I call it like a mini Taj Mahal or, but it's great I could picture this full of flowers and for wedding photos can you I really liked how it looked you know the even though the place is unfinished if it's dressed up with flowers plants whatever have you it can definitely be something to behold I mean you could really have a a, a great wedding or event here or whatever celebration it almost sounds like I'm the owner and I'm trying to sell it but I am not and neither was this video sponsors for that but I just I'm saying that because the people here were really friendly and welcoming and I just want to do that for them by the way we did take some of the food um, we ordered a takeaway lunch you can dining and I will show you what the dining area is like in case you're wondering you know if I want to bring my family here to dine in the takeaway lunches were very good actually you could get some um, three different items and um, some naan which is like bread uh, kind of like a pita bread for those of you who don't know what naan is and um, that's the restaurant there namaste Indian restaurant and this is the inside and that only costs like $45 you could get one for fifty dollars the only thing I would the food was really nice but the only thing I would say is that you make sure to tell them to hold the pepper some chefs like to go heavy on the pepper so if you're not a pepper person just when you're ordering just tell them you don't want any pepper you can see the nice tables it's not a cheapy cheapy place everything is well thought out like I said a good place to have an event or a wedding or whatever have you. you can always find them online or whatever and contact them about it so we are leaving that area and we are continuing our road trip 
And for those of you who don't know, I always ask, I, when I'm in the vehicle, I do not play sound because usually on these road trips, I'm traveling with my family and uh, you don't need to hear what we're saying, talking about various things and it's mostly unrelated to the video anyhow. Um, I stopped here to get a few points from some people about the area, so I'm just speeding it up a bit. You can see those dark gray clouds in the distance. That's that is south. So that's not gonna affect us. Where we are is sunny. But the weather in uh the Caribbean and in Trinidad and Tobago it, it, it changes all the time, huh? And one minute could be sunny, next minute it could be really rainy and whatnot. But you know, like I said, how many places do you drive to and you, s you have this look? Not many. So again, you, it's a place that you can bring your family to, have a look around, you know, just to get a different feel for other areas in Trinidad. It doesn't always have to be just your area and back home. You know, you, you can visit other places besides just Maracas or just you know, commercial places, you know, just to see what the rest of Trinidad is like. You can see what I'm talking about with the shift in land. You see how those um, poles, those electricity poles, see how it's bending, twisting, almost like it wants to fall down. That's what happens when you have shifting land. And that happens in these areas a lot. So you have a nice little community here, some big houses, well kept, the roads a bit better too. But uh, we are not really about this road, we want to we wanna turn off, we are all about the back roads. So we are looking for back roads to explore. And this one is certainly one that can be explored. However, in this road as well, you need to have a good vehicle that you can drive on it. There are other ways to get around to where we are going, but I like this, the scenic route, the route that's less traversed. So we're going to take this one. And sometimes you get to see to different houses, how people live, and so forth. Now, I was trying to locate a name for this road, but I didn't see one. Did you see one when we turned in? If you did, now you know. If not, you can always follow the route. But this one takes you to what looks like an end of a road. But we're still going to go this. It's actually labeled as a road on the map, but there's no pitch here. So it's kind of interesting going on it. You can see where the bushfires ravage this area. On the right especially. This looks really nice. I love this. See all this green. This would be good for um, those of you who like mountain biking or just jogging. This is all good stuff for you to, you know, bring a bike and ride. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't normally talk this much, so talking for an hour. I need to get my water break. My throat gets dry. By the way, that's another video I have to make about the way 
Chinese talk, you know, they won't say throat, they would say throat. Look at that again. Well, you know, I don't know what happened on the left there, if it became a dumping area or if something collapsed, but wasn't a good sight. But I just love driving through things like this. I can't imagine what it would be like if it was raining and muddy. Maybe it might be like my North Coast trip. If you haven't seen that, make sure to look at it in parts 1 and 2. Especially um, 2, I show a lot of the mud roads that you go through. And uh, I stopped here because we picked up on something on the right. Seems to be a small shrine dedicated to this person. If you know about it, feel free to comment in the comments area of my YouTube channel. But I thought I would pick it up as it was located in such a remote place. And I was wondering why there. Is it that he died there? Was it that he lived there or something? Now there is a recreation park here. And I was trying to find out more about it. But like I said, you, um, you don't get much information online. And sometimes you go to places and you don't see. So we were just driving around trying to find out more about it it's called the sandy hill park nature park and it looks also similar to how we came from the um the other area where the uh, they had the mandir um, is it, not finished but I guess it can also be used to have you know weddings or whatever again nobody was wrong we did meet a person that was cutting grass and he told us to go around because the entrance there um, on the other side was not for the public access but when we came here too we didn't see anything going on so we just kept driving but it looks like they're building it up and it's going to be really fancy more than just a nature park now I don't know if this is particularly part of the nature park or if this is another place if you know feel free to comment in my YouTube channel. I am not claiming to be the expert of any of these areas or of anything in particular. I'm always glad when those more uh, knowledgeable than me can come and tell me more about the areas that I'm going to and share. That's how we grow in knowledge. Some large houses here as well as some really beautiful green. I don't know where all these roads lead to. But um, this one particular road caught my eye and we decided to take a look. We didn't see any signage or anything. So we were wondering, but um, I like how the places with the uh, trees, pine trees, and there were some horses to the left. And we were taking the time to have a look around. And when I say look around, look around from the truck. We were looking for people that we could ask questions about the area, but we didn't see any. But it was, it seemed to be open, so I, I we don't know, but. 
You know, this is the interesting thing about when you come to these remote areas, you, you discover things that are available in Trinidad, but which don't seem to be highlighted well enough. But then again, if it's a private area, then it will end up being paid for and then you can't really access it as a public area and you can't go somewhere that seems nice without paying something. And that's one of the sad things about here in Trinidad too. Everything that seems to be beautiful is, is often gated up, protected with a wall or a door or whatever and you can't access it so we were hoping to get some information but we didn't see anybody so we turned around but i believe this is sandy hill nature park another place i guess which is an option for people who want to have events whatever have you I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can see the horses on your right. Uh, in my younger days, I used to take um, a lot of scouts, young scouts, teenagers on um, hiking and camping trips. We would go all in the north coast. Um, and in northern mountains in Trinidad and camp and on some of the tops of those mountains you would see a lot of pine trees just like how it looked there I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about one particular area is above St. Anne's and Cascade there's a strip of um, a mountain ridge there that is just full of pine trees and it looks just like that I believe it used to be owned by uh, Y de Lima. I don't know if it is now, and I believe it, the access to it was or has become more restricted. I haven't been up there for years, but if you know what I'm talking about, feel free to comment in the comments area of my YouTube channel. One thing I like about the areas that we are traveling through now is the it's very peaceful. I mean, you don't hear any noise, no limas, no loud music. You know, it's just peaceful, as you would hope that any countryside area would be. Just full of nature and peaceful. That's one of the reasons I don't like living near city areas it's just too much noise too much rumbling of vehicle engines people horns music you know you just want peace of mind maybe i'm getting too old i don't know but i just like peace i just have a strong dislike for noise and i can tell you trees can be very noisy and I even have a video on that. If you haven't seen it, make sure to look for it. Because it can get really bad. I love when people um, take, take the time to plant some flowering plants in their yard, beautify. It, it really looks nice. So I'm not too sure where I am at the moment. So I usually I like to stop and ask for directions if I feel I don't want to be end up going in circles. So I'm just taking some tips from this guy. This road will take us back to Mission Road. Because uh, really I want to make a circle but I want to end up going back north and not towards the south.
I don't know how many of you picked up on it, but I'm seeing lots of traveler palms. That's that's the fan like plant that fans out. Sometimes when you're driving up this road, you wonder what's on the other end. So you can see where we are coming back to more roads and more concrete jungle as you could see. I believe this is uh, the Freeport Todd's Road which will later take us to the Mission Road. So if you used to live in this area, <coughs> excuse me, if you used to live in this area and you um, if you have friends or family and you have not seen it for a while, feel free to tell us, you know, does it look the same? Have you seen improvements? Or whatever have you. I mean on my YouTube channel. Just stop to take a quick look at this. If this building means something to you, it would be of interest to you. Now one thing interesting here is part of the layout of the Caribbean is you will see a building well maintained like that one and then right next to it a derelict building and then next to it another building that's maintained and so forth. The you know the maintenance of structures can use a, a upgrade sometimes. Buildings should not be allowed to get to that state. So this is Mission Road. Gonna turn right. And this will take us north and um, from here you can get back onto the highway. Uh, even if you want to go south or north. Like I said, I have uh, another video that I did about driving the whole stretch of this mission road. So you can always have a look at that. Just check my YouTube channel and in the search box you can just put Mission Road. Make sure to use the search for my channel and not the general search for YouTube. As always I do appreciate you coming here to have a look. Make sure to um, check my other videos as well. Not everything is about driving. I would, I would love if we can get to know each other. I have videos on various other issues. Community issues, that's how we build up the community that we have here online. To discuss all things and get to know each other. Not just, you know, driving to Trinidad. I also appreciate when you invite your friends, your family to subscribe. My channel is really growing exponentially and uh, that's because of you. However, I have not reached my 
goal of 10,000 subscribers yet and I'm really looking forward to it so with your help I'm sure I'll get there ask all your friends your family members to subscribe to JB's Man Cave and you know when you tell them subscribe make sure they understand it's something free it's not something that you're asking them to pay for or whatever subscribe is just a matter of clicking the subscribe button it's all free you just need to have a gmail account and getting a gmail account is also free so i hope you enjoyed our road trip today and um, look out for some exciting stuff coming up like i said i'll be improving my video resolutions going to 5.3k 4k i already do some 4k videos for you with the other caribbean islands but for trinidad i have been kind of lazy with the 1080p hd but i will be um, boosting that to a higher resolution for those of you who watch on mobiles it really wouldn't matter but i know i, I do have some of you who like to sit home and watch on your big screen so that will give you a higher resolution and will also now allow me to focus greater on other stuff while keeping it sharp. I also will be coming with some 360 videos which will enable you, you know some of you say oh I wish you showed me this building or that building. Well with the 360 videos you will be able to actually choose where you want to see while I am there. That's right you'll actually be able to scroll on your screen and look so you won't be able to argue with me that I should be looking at a certain building folks glad to have you here glad to have you watching feel free to like and comment I really appreciate it we're gonna end this video where I just stopped by the uh, fruit stand for the week get my veggies and fruits